Configuring DNF, Fedora's package manager, is important because it helps improve performance and efficiency when managing software packages. By making a few adjustments to the DNF configuration, you can speed up tasks like installing, updating, and searching for packages, setting max dodge parallel downloads. By default, DNF downloads one package at a time. Increasing the number of parallel downloads allows DNF to fetch multiple packages simultaneously, significantly speeding up the process. Setting defaulties equals true. This option automatically answers yes to prompts during package installations and updates. It saves time, especially when you're performing bulk installations or updates. Setting fastest mirror equals true. Fedora uses multiple mirrors to provide packages. By enabling this option, DNF will always try to connect to the fastest available mirror, reducing the time it takes to download packages. Click ESC, click double point, and type WQ. W is for save and Q is for exit. Updating your system immediately after installation is crucial for several reasons, especially when using a cutting edge Linux distribution like Fedora. Security patches, critical security updates. After a system is installed, it may contain known vulnerabilities that have been addressed by the developers. By updating, you ensure that your system is protected against the latest threats, bugs, and exploits. Security patches help protect your personal data and keep your system secure from malicious attacks. Bug fixes, improved stability. Even though Fedora is a stable distribution, Bugs can exist in the initial release of software packages. Updates often contain bug fixes that improve the performance and reliability of your system. Updating helps avoid unexpected crashes or malfunctions that might occur with outdated packages. Performance improvements. Optimizations. Updates can include performance enhancements such as improved resource management or faster system responsiveness. By updating your system, you benefit from the latest optimizations made by developers, ensuring that your system runs as efficiently as possible. New features. Access to the latest software. Fedora is known for providing cutting edge technology. By updating your system, you get the latest features and improvements in software packages, desktop environments, and other critical system components. This keeps your Fedora experience fresh and up to date with the latest advancements. Compatibility with third-party software. Avoiding compatibility issues. Outdated systems may lack compatibility with newer third-party applications or software repositories. By keeping your system updated, you ensure smooth compatibility with RPM Fusion, Flatpak, and other external software sources. Long-term maintenance. Stay aligned with upstream support. Fedora follows a rapid release cycle, meaning packages evolve quickly. Keeping your system updated ensures that your system remains compatible with upstream software and gets continued support from the Fedora community. And after the update is completed, you need to restart the computer. RPM Fusion expands Fedora's capabilities by providing access to proprietary drivers, multimedia codecs, and a wider array of software. For users who need the functionality of NVIDIA drivers, the ability to play restricted media formats, or access to non-open source software, RPM Fusion is an essential addition to the Fedora experience. It allows users to customize Fedora for broader use cases while maintaining the system's efficiency and performance. After activating RPM Fusions, you need to update the system. Fedora does not include certain multimedia codecs by default due to its focus on free and open source software and to avoid legal issues related to patented technologies. This means that out of the box, Fedora may not support certain media formats like MP3, H.264, or AAC. However, users can easily enable third-party repositories like RPM Fusion to access these codecs and enhance multimedia support on their system. After installing Fedora, it's a good idea to install commonly used applications to ensure your system is ready for everyday tasks like web browsing, media playback, 
and document editing. Web browsers, Google Chrome, fast and feature-rich browser with extensive extensions. Brave browser, privacy-focused browser with built-in ad blocking. Vivaldi, highly customizable with unique tab management features. Media players, VLC media player, supports almost every video and audio format, ideal for all types of media playback. MPV player, lightweight and efficient, perfect for minimalists who want versatile video support. Office suites, LibreOffice, free and open source office suite for documents, spreadsheets, and presentations. Only Office, another powerful suite with better compatibility for Microsoft Office formats. These applications will cover your basic browsing, media, and office needs, enhancing your overall Fedora experience. Flatpak enables Fedora users to access a wider range of applications through repositories like Flathub, while providing enhanced security via sandboxing. This allows users to safely install and run more apps with better control over system resources and security. For example, when I tried to install Brave, it said there was no such application in the repo, but I can download it very easily with Flatpak. Optimizing battery usage on laptops is essential for extending usage time, preserving battery health, improving system performance, and reducing energy consumption. It ensures that you can effectively use your laptop in various environments without disruptions, making it a crucial aspect of laptop management for any user. And after the installation is complete, we need to activate TLP. We will do this with System CTL. If you have an NVIDIA graphics card in your system, installing the proprietary drivers is crucial for achieving optimal performance, particularly in gaming or other graphic-intensive tasks. Enhanced performance. Better utilization of hardware. Proprietary NVIDIA drivers are specifically designed to work with NVIDIA hardware, allowing the system to fully leverage the card's capabilities. This includes optimizing performance for demanding applications and games, resulting in smoother frame rates and better graphics rendering. Improved compatibility. Support for latest games and applications. Many games and graphics-intensive applications are developed with proprietary NVIDIA drivers in mind. Using the open-source drivers may lead to compatibility issues or subpar performance in these applications, whereas the proprietary drivers ensure that you can run them as intended. Advanced Features Access to Technologies Proprietary drivers provide access to advanced features that enhance the gaming and graphic experience, such as NVIDIA G-Sync, reduces screen tearing and enhances gameplay by synchronizing the display refresh rate with the GPU's frame rate. CUDA utilizes the GPU for parallel processing tasks, making it beneficial for applications in data science, video editing, and rendering. NVIDIA RTX features like real-time ray tracing and DLSS, deep learning super sampling, are only available with proprietary drivers. Optimized power management, better battery life on laptops. Proprietary drivers include power management features that help optimize battery usage. This is particularly important for laptops, allowing users to balance performance and energy consumption effectively. After the installation is complete, we need to restart. FISH is a modern shell designed for user-friendliness and efficiency, featuring simplified syntax, intelligent auto-suggestions, syntax highlighting, and easy configuration options. Its built-in features and community support make it a great choice for both beginners and experienced users looking for a powerful and visually appealing command line interface. The first thing we need to do after installation is to change our default shell to FISH. After restarting your computer, your default shell will be FISH, or you can try it without restarting. You can get more information by typing HELP.
And that's it. I hope the video was helpful to you. Thanks for watching. Please like and share the video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel.